Hello, my name is Evgenia Baranikova. I am an HPLC product coordinator at Shimadzu Scientific Instruments. In this video, I will demonstrate how to clean and replace the check valves on a 40 series Nexera pump. For this procedure, you will need an 8 mm wrench, a 10 mm wrench, inlet and outlet check valves. Before you begin, place the reservoir with the mobile phase solvent lower than the pump inlet. This will prevent the solvent from flowing out of the suction tube or pump head. Open the right pump door. Press the tab at the top of the filter holder and lift it out. Remove the panel cover by pressing the projection at the front of the panel and sliding it forward. Now remove the stainless steel SUS tube connecting the check valve outlet to the pressure sensor. Start with the connection on the check valve. Hold the valve with the 10 mm wrench and loosen the nut of the SUS pipe with the 8 mm wrench. Then do the same for the connection on the pressure sensor. Once the SUS pipe is loosened, lift up and remove it from the check valve side, then pull to the right to remove it from the pressure sensor side. Loosen the peak fitting of the inlet line by hand and remove it from the inlet check valve. Use the 10 mm wrench to remove the inlet and outlet check valves from the pump head. Immerse the inlet and outlet check valves into a beaker with 2-propanol and clean for 5 to 10 minutes using an ultrasonic bath. For new check valves, remove the large cap and hold the check valve vertically while removing the small cap to keep internal parts intact. Do not turn the inlet check valve upside down. Attach the new inlet and outlet check valves or reattach the cleaned valves by turning them clockwise until they are finger tight. Then use the 10 mm wrench to tighten them further as follows. Hand tighten the peak fitting of the inlet tube to the inlet check valve. Connect the SUS tubing by inserting one end of the pipe into the pressure sensor and the other end into the outlet check valve. Press the tubing firmly into each port and tighten by hand until finger tight. Hold the check valve with the 10 mm wrench and tighten the nut of the tubing with the 8 mm wrench. Then tighten the nut at the pressure sensor side. Check the mobile phase flow and ensure there are no leaks at any of the connections. Finish the procedure by reassembling the right pump door. Slide on the panel cover until it clicks into place. Then replace the filter holder. For more information on Shimadzu LC instruments, visit www.ssi.shimadzu.com. Excellence in science. Shimazu.